Have you ever been commuting into Cardiff for work? I have. Pretty hectic first thing in the morning. But there is a way you can do it efficiently. And this is it. Wake up, check your fridge, there's a bus leaving from bus stop at half past six. Get dressed, grab your stuff, there's not enough time to eat your wheat to bex. Get to the bus stop, check and make sure you have a tenner spare. Get on the bus, find out from the driver you can't pay a tenner for your fare. So spend ten minutes sorting out if you can pay them the right change. Take a seat to the back and wonder when in the month you will be paid. Get annoyed when the driver takes their time getting over a speed bump. If you don't get in town on time, you can try and make it by long jump. Somehow, despite the odds, you make it to the town centre on time. But as you step off the bus, you realise you're wearing the wrong tie. The perils of urban living are about to kick you in the knees. Especially when it turns out you ain't eat enough to feed a flea. So pop into Greg's and grab the nearest steak bake or sandwich to hand. Then sprint for the train station as if you're powered by a brass band. Right, come on, come on, go. Get the ticket, get the ticket. Go to the machine, right. Credit card. No, I want to go to Cardiff. No, not Carmarthen. I said Cardiff. Oh. Right, there we go. Return, not single. Return. Right, over the over the bridge, over the bridge. Get down there. No, not backwards, forwards. Platform. Right. Wait for the train. No rush. It's ten minutes late. I need a straight flush. Here it is. The two carriages. At this rate, might as well get married. Right, jump on the train, jump on the train. Right, where, where are we going now? Oh, no seat's going to have to stand up. I have to eat my baguette. With a fishnet. Or some utensils. Use a pencil. To be fair to you, if you've got this far in the wrap, you'll be forgiven for thinking that I am mental. Okay, there we go. I think we've made it. Okay, coming into Cardiff now, pulling up on the platform, how long have we got? 15 minutes to get to the other side of town. This isn't looking too good, is it? But we will try. Okay, go to the, go to the back of the carriage, go back, not the middle, the back of the carriage. You ready? No, not really. Well, best of luck. Here we go. Jump through the doors and run for the barrier with your ticket in hand. Feed the gate your ticket and run and run and run like a man with a plan. Wait for the light to turn green so you can cross the road and keep on moving. Head up the main street and try not to crash into buskers while they're grooving. Take a shortcut through the arcade and watch out for the double doors. If you don't go through them at the right time, you'll end up on the floor. Run for the tunnel under the road, you've got ten minutes left to go. If you turn up late this time, you can't fall back on blaming the snow. Head up to the building after you've nearly been hit by a car. Discover the doors are shut and wonder where the rest of your colleagues are. Find out from your emails that they've shut the building for the rest of the day. Turn around, go home, put the kettle on and make yourself a task today. It's my new word. French. Cup of tea. Look it up.